Now, within the last hour or so, we've been learning of there having been an earthquake in the far eastern province of Turkey, Van, uh, right on the border with Iran. The epicenter, though, of this uh, earthquake apparently is on the other side of the border in Iran, in a small village a few kilometres away from the Turkish border. But Hashem Ahubara is our correspondent. He's in Hatay province in southern Turkey. What more can you tell us then about this earthquake that is affecting uh, eastern Turkey as well as western Iran? Well, the authorities here are saying that eight people were killed and 21 injured in the 5.7 magnitude earthquake that hit the areas on the border with Iran, particularly in the province of uh, Van. And the areas particularly affected are uh, Guvelik and uh, Ospina. Now, the, they also say that they are concerned many people are still trapped under the rubble and the uh, rescue operation uh, is underway. We're talking about an area that's on the border and the authorities and the rescuers have really to go through all those villages in the mountainous areas for them to be able to establish and gauge the scope and the magnitude of uh, the, the damage. And those areas are on the border with Iran. And this explains why they are some of the most uh, seismically active uh, in the world. In, in last month, for example, uh, 41 people were killed in an earthquake that hit two provinces in, uh, in, uh, in, in the eastern part of Turkey, Elaza and Malatya, and more than 1,500 people uh, were injured in that uh, earthquake. The authorities are saying they are uh, doing their best to try to get closer to the, all the areas that are affected and to ensure that also they retrieve all those who are still now uh, uh, buried under the rubble. All right, Hashim, thank you very much. Hashim Ahubara there giving us the very latest on that earthquake.